These people have traveled here from all over Germany to demonstrate for clean energy. People in many areas want to put a stop to fracking. They're afraid of the technology, and they're doing all they can to block its use. We think it's morally unacceptable to do this just to turn a quick profit, to make permanent changes to things here on Earth and possibly destroy them in the process. If they start fracking here, then they'll be pumping chemicals into the Earth. They always say they'll come back out again, but I'm not so sure. If they do it, I think our groundwater will suffer. We'll no longer be able to drink clean water as we can now, and that really worries me. But jobs are scarce here in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern on the Baltic coast, and the state's infrastructure leaves a lot to be desired. Drilling rigs loom just outside the town of Saal. The operators claim they'll help bring in much-needed income. There's oil some three kilometers below the surface here, though it will take years to bring it up on a major scale. The project is currently just in the test phase. Drinking water here doesn't come from depths below 65 meters. Our drill hole will be up to 2,700 meters deep and will traverse several hundred meters of totally leak-proof salt layers. In other words, it will pose no danger to drinking water. Fracking is the use of hydraulic methods to mine for petroleum or natural gas. The process, which employs various chemicals, involves pumping water at extreme pressures beneath the surface, where it fractures deep layers of rock. The German-Canadian company CEP has acquired the rights to exploit resources here. The firm's founders have collected around 100 million euros so far to investigate known oil reserves in eastern Germany. We are not here. This isn't the Gulf of Mexico. The oil in this region is older, we know that. We also, of course, have access to all of the experience that we've gained in the past in this field, and we're using it. It's not very difficult to assess the risks. Environmental activists from Greenpeace don't agree, and have been keeping a close eye on CEP's test site for months. The organization's experts say that, for many reasons, fracking here is completely irresponsible. We think that there's a risk of uncontrolled oil and toxic chemical pollution in this area, which relies on tourism. We also believe there's a risk that fracking could provoke tremors or earthquakes. And finally, we think there's a risk that the substances acquired using this process will not be handled professionally or appropriately. Can a company really drill for oil in the middle of a tourist area on the Baltic coast? The state government is hoping for tax income generated by oil. CEP is convinced that fracking has a future in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. It estimates the state harbors around 18 billion euros in oil reserves. This is the best oil in the world. It's the same quality as Brent crude. Back during the days of the former East Germany, oil from this area was exported to Russia, where they used it in the space industry. It's a top quality product. There's nothing better. Even if it is the best oil in the world, the dangers that getting it out pose are completely disproportionate to what stands to be gained. We need to take a different tack, to think about how we could be saving energy rather than just using more of it. Just saying, great, here's lots more oil, let's burn it, people. The method is highly controversial at the political level, and as it stands, fracking is still not permitted in Germany. And if these activists have their way, it never will be.